Hi guys, this is Simeon. Today I want to talk about the difference between this and this and this. I want to talk about gardening in just normally on the ground with garden beds or in these kind of raised garden beds. This is what my parents are doing. I'm gardening with the garden beds that are 75 centimeters wide and um, I want to talk about the cons and pros a little bit. Well, let me start with the cons that I think personally so that I can finish with the positive thing. Um, the reason why I don't do the raised garden beds is because um, I need a, I'm doing a market garden eventually. We have a big kitchen garden and then when you turn it into a market garden, uh, then you just need a lot of space. So if, if you want to create enough garden space with these raised beds, it's just a lot of work. Then, another con is that you, you just need a lot of material to fill into these because they are so tall. Another con I would say is that you can not use cedar in here and then also that they dry out quicker than on the bottom because they're so tall the water always tries to find its way down. Hi there. Hi. <laughs> so, um, those are what I think um, a little bit the cons, then one more. <laughs> you want to show them how you play? Ooh. Another con I would say is that if you use this wood like we have here, it'll rot fairly quick after a few years. If you don't use the right kind of wood, that might be a bit more expensive. Because you don't want to use pressure treated wood, it releases the poison into the, into the soil and so on. But, but you know, obviously you can find something really good there. Well, now I would like to talk about the pros. The pro is obviously um, the height. You don't have to bend down so much and I think that's the main reason why my parents do this. And um, it is a very comfortable height for gardening. And the next big pro is that in our climate here, um, this helps really with season extension. Um, you see, we have a short growing season. The sun here in Sweden is always fairly low, even in the summertime. For example, certain crops, you have to space wider so the sunlight hits them. This just warms up much quicker in the spring because um, the sun hits it, it warms up. You can also use this as a hotbed by putting manure and branches and all that kind of stuff, basically making a big compost pile inside of here and layering soil and everything on top and it'll warm up and heat up and then of course um, this sinks together so you have to fill in a lot of material in um, every year but that is another approach just the temperature and and all of that you have very good control over it weeding is easy um, you have very light and fluffy air in here you know everything just becomes very easy like that so you know you can look what kind of gardening method would you like the best um, if this is very comfortable for you then you know this is probably a good way for you to go with your back and um, you know if you don't have to if you don't have a market garden and you you do this on a um, smaller scale so to speak you, you know obviously you can make raised garden beds um, with with some sheet metal around there's a company that does that and, and you don't have to build this wood and stuff, but um, you still need a lot of material to fill in. This we filled in with compost and manure from our, um, our farm, from our animals, and this is just going to explode. The vegetables that my parents are going to plant in here are just going to explode. Then I want to show you what my dad did here. He just used this PVC piping, screwed it against here, it bends over. And here he just used some electric tape. My dad is an electrician. That's one thing he is always in his pocket, just like I do here in this pocket. It's not tobacco like somebody asked. This is electric tape. <laughs> and so they built this and then you can put your fleece fabric over here and very easily just, um, you know, fasten it with something, um, some even clothes pins or something. And, and you have this whole thing, um, 
you extend the season even more. Very nice, very efficient. And this PVC piping is just very, very cheap. If it breaks, you just switch it out. So um, this even looks very cool. So here you have the other raised bed that my parents have and my mother just planted some um, strawberry plants in here and um, these are just gonna start growing very soon here and um, I would think that they would also put the PVC pi pipe um, on here very soon and um, you know here they just used um, from the garden beds that we used in the greenhouse earlier they just put two of these on top of each other and fold this in. They again put branches in and all of that. It'll really produce a lot of heat. And um, this is where my mom's old cold frame was standing. So they removed the cold frame and tossed it. And now they're using this hotbed. And, and you just need to make sure, especially when you have strawberries or something, you know, this will only, you know, the organic matter will hold a certain amount of water and the, all the other water just really quickly will find its way down so you need to make sure if you want to have good and sweet and juicy fruit that you water this really well otherwise um, the concept is cool and obviously you could build these very long or whatever and um, that works fine there are also much lower raised beds but um, this is what my parents have been experimenting with I am working um, without them in the garden. Now you see that I don't work with raised garden beds. I just plant um, straight into these and I actually haven't had any marked garden beds at all the last years and uh, my garden was not a success. Actually it was a failure over the past years. Um, we did a lot of things wrong and then we had um, you know just a lot of challenges. I hope to be able to share more of this this year we do it a little different. Um, I'm, I'm making these garden beds here. I haven't put on new compost yet, but you see the garlic is coming in very nicely here. In a few weeks we can se start selling some fresh garlics to the customers. Um, we have a few thousand plants over there as well. And you know, this way in these garden beds I can just use the, the cedar I bought. I want to test that out still and, and show it to you guys. But you can also use this white rake and you can use all these garden tools that are made for this um, very efficiently, very quickly. And if you do this the right way, you don't have to bend over too much either. But you can do it in a good way. And, and, and you know, especially when you have a no dig approach, that really helps you not to have too much work eventually. We've been working with a no dig approach for the last four years, I would say. And, um, you know, I think first now we're really starting to learn the right kind of materials and how long everything takes and all of that um, we are starting to find out. You know most of this is common sense and many of you guys um, know this already but but you know sometimes it helps to just get a perspective from somebody else who has done this and um, you know it's, it's really cool when you have a whole garden area of these kind of raised beds you walk and and all the vegetables and and you know fruit and whatever they're like all at this height you walk through you can't just without bending down it's it's a beautiful thing you know um, but I I go this way also because of the bigger um, the bigger space that I'm gonna use it would just be way too much work and way too much material to put into these um, race garden beds so I hope to see you in the next video thanks for watching stay tuned and share the videos like them and and help us to spread the word out that's much appreciated and helps our channel grow thank you so much see you tomorrow bye bye